In a meadow under sunny skies, families picnic with rolls and pies. But oh, what a mess is left behind. Leaving litter, it's so unkind. Join their team, no time to waste. Clean up the mess with cheerful haste. To hang out more with Fuzby's friends, subscribe to our channel where the fun never ends. Fuzby's Race for the Environment by Teddy Snuggletail for Comfy Corner Time. Listen very carefully. The question for this story is What did the ants do? Answers at the end. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. What a mess! exclaimed Fuzby. He loved it when families came to the meadow. They had picnics, played games, and the children squealed with joy. Sometimes there were little bits of cake or bread left behind for the animals to gobble up. This weekend was no different, except... What a mess, he observed, downtrodden. Their beautiful meadow was now peppered with litter. Empty plastic bottles, chocolate wrappers, dirty tissues, yuck, even a broken kite. Help! Help! pleaded Dino, cantering up flustered with an empty carrier bag wrapped around his hoof. I can't get it off and it's ever so tight, he complained. The meadow was home to many creatures. It should have been a place of beauty and joy. A haven where flowers bloomed and the sun always seemed to shine a little brighter. This morning, unfortunately, it was anything but. Oh dear, buzzed Busby, zip, zip, zipping around Dino's leg. This is terrible. Don't worry, I'll get help. Dino waited sobbing. The noisy bag crackled in the breeze, sending a little shiver of terror through him. Fuzby gathered everyone for a meeting under the old oak tree. We need to clean up our meadow, he declared. Now, I know it's hard work, he agreed, but let's make it fun, eh? Let's have a race to see who can collect the most rubbish, he announced with a huge dollop of encouragement. Turning to Mandy Mouse, he said, I have a special job for you. Dino waited with patience as Mandy gnawed with gusto through the bag. Fear gripped his saddened heart, but he did not dare move in case his big foot squashed her. Let's keep our meadow tidy, cheered the ants. It's a piece of cake to put rubbish in the bin, they chorused. With joy they passed rubbish down a long line. What a funny sight! Like a big chocolate wrapper escalator stretching out across the meadow, over the hedge and into a neat pile by the side of the road. Shelly Snail, slow but steady, picked up a plastic fork. Balancing it with care on her shell, she began the long journey to the roadside heap. One step at a time, she murmured. Perseverance is key, no matter the pace. Such a wise little snail. Finally free, Dino galloped around. His big eyes spotted rubbish far and wide. Look at this pile we're making, he neighed with pride. Mandy helped with stacking. Cups, straws... Wrappers and bags, like a mountain, the rubbish pile grew. The meadow echoed to the tune of the clean-up race. Crunch, crunch, swoosh, swoosh, 
scuttle, scuttle, pluff, pluff. As the sun began to set, the friends gathered to admire their hard work. Litter Mountain towered by the roadside, awaiting the lorry to whisk it away. Bravo! Bravo! cheered Fusby with excitement. You're all brilliant! he praised. Thank you, Ants, for your fantastic teamwork. Mandy Mouse, you were marvellous, chewing through that rotten bag. As night fell, the rubbish lorry came rumbling along. With a bonk and a clonk and a clickety-clack, it scooped up the big pile of rubbish. Thank you, called out the meadow friends. So remember, next time you go on a picnic, don't be a litter bug. Think of all the little creatures that live amongst us and keep their world and your planet tidy. Have you been listening carefully? Do you know what the ants did? Yes, that's right. They created a long line and passed the rubbish along it. Well done! Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye bye! If you enjoyed today's tale, don't be a stranger. Pop over to the channel and enjoy many, many more exciting adventures.